Maybe you've thought about going and living up in space for a day or two. Well, did you know that at any given time, there are probably three astronauts living up above your head? Now, where is that? Well, it's, it's on this thing, the International Space Station. There's 16 countries that have come together to build this giant space station out in space. It's about the size of the Parliament buildings in Ottawa. And there are three astronauts doing all the regular things that regular people have to do. They're just trying to do it up in space. So we can show you how some of that stuff might be a bit different if you find yourself floating on the space station as opposed to being down here on Earth. Now, one of the things you'd probably have to do if you were spending time up in space is use the space toilet. Now, uh, here we've got our volunteer, uh, Jamie, who's sitting on the space toilet. Now, it might appear to you and I that he's upside down, but remember, in space, we don't have that feeling of up or, or down. So, for an astronaut, they would simply float over, they'd lock themselves down with a seat belt on their toilet, and the big difference, of course, is there's no water in a space toilet because that would simply float around as a giant floating blob of toilet water, which would be gross for everybody. Instead, it's a giant vacuum cleaner that's in the bottom of this, and that's going to vacuum anything, again, that you wouldn't want floating around the inside of your spaceship. And you're probably wondering what I'm wearing now. Well, um, what I've got on is a bunch of Velcro, and this is a really important part of an astronaut's day. Most of you have probably used Velcro on Earth, but in space, Velcro is very, very important. Well, let's just look at eating up in space. So an astronaut would get a food tray. It's pretty normal, it's like a cafeteria food tray, but they lock everything on with the magic of Velcro. So you can take these things, you can stick them onto your food tray, you can stick them right onto yourself, and you know they're still gonna be there when you come back again. Your food tray locks on, again, with the magic of Velcro. Any food that you might eat, and we have actual astronaut food, it's been dehydrated, so we've taken all the water out so that it stays fresh for a really long time. And then astronauts would take, say, their macaroni and cheese or their broccoli, and they would insert a little tube which carries water. So you'd put uh, this inside, let that sit for a little while, shoot a little bit more water in, and you're ready to go. And again, a little bit of Velcro is gonna keep that stuff from floating around. And you're probably gonna need one last thing, which would be cutlery. And again, if you see any problems with stuff in space, it would be possibly a floating fork harpooning you in the eye. Now what they do with this stuff, very simple. You just lock it on with some magnets on your tray, and bingo, you're a floating cafeteria, you're ready to have some food up in space. So you can see that living up in space is a little bit different than living down here on Earth, but the things that we do in space are, are, are pretty much the same. Now we've got eating, we've got using the washroom, and we even have sleeping, which in itself is, is a little bit different. To, to figure out how an astronaut sleeps up in space, well, come down and give us a visit at the H.R. McMillan Space Center. For a day up in space and for the Express, I'm Cam Cronin.